Hey there, everybody. Welcome back for another episode. So, I am hoping that this episode we finish up on these. So, I am going to get started on these right away. Okay? And I will do my normal intro stuff while we're working on all this stuff. So, we it's all taken care of. I'm not going to work. Okay? So, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I am still pre-recording because I'm still trying to make sure that my leg will work for us. Okay, I don't want to not put out content because I didn't pre-record anything because I wanted to see what everybody's saying about everything and see if I can change anything or anything like that. So I, I didn't pre I'm pre-recording. For that fact, and again, we, it, it's not doing too good. Uh, we got a minute left on there, so that's okay. Come down. We need to get all of these connected. So we're doing it the same way we did last time. It's pretty nice that I found this little uh, trick, didn't it? Isn't it? And I'm so happy about those ceiling mounts. Oh, could you imagine how this would be if I didn't have the ceiling mounts? Can you imagine that? Like, if I didn't have the ability to, like, pin this to the ceiling like this? Oof. Think about it. There's those. So all of those are taken care of now. That is giving us all that we need for the reinforced iron plates. Now, let's go ahead. We got those going into those ones. I got them going into those ones. Now we need them going into these ones. Keep on hitting seven. Seven is four. Not this part. Yeah. Oh. Research is done. So we got. Ooh. This is definitely what we're doing right here. Okay. We are 100% doing this. This one. Eh, it's okay. This one. Eh. Okay. This is going to be very, very very useful when it comes time for uh when it comes time for doing fuel generators there we go that's what i was looking for fuel generators when we get to fuel generators that will be the most useful thing there and it will Logistics, smart spinner. we're using for all of this. Yes. There's the one. How much are we using to make all of this happen? I'm a copy here. Because this automatically puts in the power shard and adjusts it to exactly what we need. So, now I just gotta run around. Every other. One of these times I might reset this. Be a different one. Now, into this one. 
So this one is at 120. So we're going to copy those settings. And there we go, 120. Making 60 per minute. should be every single one of them set. And then these two be turned into these. So I gotta set all of them. There we go. All those are set. Now I need one more of these because I need to see something. So for this, we are doing 10 of them. Okay? That's 120. So we need 120 of these. 120 of these. Now, they make 15. So if I do this and I overclock them, it's going to give me 30. So that would mean I would need four of them. One, two, three, four. I can't believe that actually is going to work. Can you? Can you believe this is actually going to work? One. Um, the reinforced iron plates are going to get made right here. Then modular frames are getting made one full out of Ooh, six inventory slots. Adhered. I don't really like that recipe. I don't actually. I don't like that one either. Insulated cable. Good upper cable production, but yet I'm not really needing them right now, so I'm, I'm thinking this is what we're going with. Now we have even more. Let's go back in. Again, I'm still trying to find that one. I still want to see if we can get that one. Bolted. Bolted. Because if you can, then I can just make even more of these into, it's so like this would be 100 screws. 100, 200, 300, 400 screws. So this would be all that we would need to send down to there to make the automated wire. Now, since we're doing that, it would have to be two and two, so 200 and 200. Which works because then one manufacturer gets 200, the other one gets another 200. Walls. Blueprints. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't look nice. Only problem.
this is what a, one thing that I wish they would fix with blueprints is they would snap to the foundation. So it does that, but go. Now I need 10 manufacturers. No, not what's the manufacturers, assemblers. 10 assemblers here. So I want them to end right there, so I'm going to start here. Okay. And start there. Yes, but I need more loaders. Of course I can't have all that I need and they're right there, I can see them. I can see them right there. Ah, more running. I started this again, right? Yes, there we go. Ooh. Rubber. Screws. No, you don't need that one. But we could do copper rollers, which is using that. Ooh, it's only using five. Let me see. So it's taking 18, making 3.75 heavy modular frames. Right now, we're using five, 15, five, and 100. So I like the current one that we have. Just because of lack of options, we're going to take it. There we go. You know, I'm going to keep that on. I'm going to keep that there. Keep on wanting to destroy it, even though I don't. Table now? Yeah, full health. Do not try this at home. Yes. Do not try that at home. It may cause injury to you or someone you love. Yes. If you time it right and you hit the button for the uh whatchamacallit, the Yep, I got that. Um, if you hit the button to enter the vehicle right at the time, right when it's perfect, just before you hit the ground, you'll enter the vehicle and not take any damage whatsoever. I might have to actually call this video Large Fall No Damage. Okay. Just for fun. those. 
Yep, 20. Let me know what you guys think of the audio, by the way. Let me know what you think. Now, right over here. We left this area open for a reason. Oh, look at there, another man. So we have those ones again, we got these ones again, we got this one again. So we are gonna stop. Yep, we're gonna stop doing this. Okay. Because it's. No, it's. It's not working, right? It's giving us the exact same ones all over again every single time. This actually would work to make a motor factory, so we're gonna keep that. We're gonna take that. And there we go. As I said, we're not going to make any more. We're not going to do any more of them. We're going to save them for just a little bit. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. That's it. One, two. These are making the screws. 50. 1, 52, 53, 54. There we go. That is. Why did I just do that? There. Well, I've never tried to cop paste over a machine that had overclock. It doesn't take them out. There's a good thing to know. Make sure you take them out before you do it. Yes, make sure you take them out. So, this is what we have going on for our top floor. We have this huge open area. Again, I might move those over here and just do like Right over here, just have something else that just looks out over top of flowers, or just not have anything over here, you know? And just make this metal grip concrete, I mean metal grip steel frames, and then make it so we can see, because right here, that's where I want to do it. I want to do it right on top of that. That's where it is. That's where I'm thinking about putting it. It's right there. But this finishes off what we have going on. Next time you see this, I will have all of the logistics done on here. I will have all of the orders coming, coming up to everything. I will have everything getting piped into everything over here. Everything from here getting piped all the way down. And then what I might do is I might build just the floor out there and connections up. To it. Okay? And then what I'll do is I'll do the temporary floors right next to it with awesome sinks. And then what we have to do then for our next video is just place the manufacturers, set the logistics up for them, get power to that whole area, and then connect up the two sets to go to the one we start making our heavy modular frames. Now again, I also want to incorporate in this. This is going to be moving down, all the way down to here to be a quartz manufactory as well. And I'm probably going to have AI limiters in there. This should nip right there. I need copper. But that copper is going to go over there and it's going to make sheets, which is then going to make autom which is then going to automate the AI limiters for us. Because we do need those automated. So that is the next video you will see. It will be a base foundation right there with the sets coming over to it. It will be awesome. So thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time.